Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Civil Ilman Nafia, known as ZBenefits. My friend Trivia says Civil Software Trainer. I'm here to share my knowledge on various engineering software like AutoCAD, Private Architecture, and ETAPS. In this video, I'm going to introduce you the software ETAPS. Before going to ETAP software, let me explain you a few uh, general topics like types of software in our civil engineering stream. Generally, in our civil engineering stream, we are having three divisions of software, namely modeling software, analyzing software, and project management software. Let us see what is this modeling software. The tools which are used for the modeling of the structure, so nothing but the modeling the elevation part and modeling the interior part, we are here yeah, we exclusively work on the outlook nothing but the aesthetic appearance of the structure that those tools will come under this modeling part here i have given few examples like autocad rivet architecture and previous snacks these are the softwares few basic softwares which are comes under this modeling part next thing is analyzing softwares here the name itself defines analysis of the structure analyzing the software tools which are used for the analysis of the structure those will come under this analyzing part. Here, by using these tools, we are going to analyze our structure. We are going to test, test our building, whether it will withstand for the applied loads or not. Softwares like StatPro, ETAP, and Robot Structural Analysis or few some basic softwares which are under this analyzing part. Next, the third one is project management softwares. Project management, nothing but it involves the operation like activity management and alignment of the activities and alignment of the labors and estimation of the cost, estimation of the duration and material. All these operations will in, involves in the project management. The tools like MS Project and Prime Vera are mostly used for the project management side. So hence, those will come under this project management software. So these are few basic software divisions in our civil engineering stream. Now let us see the advantages of using software. Okay. Generally for an engineer, softwares are like weapons. We, if we discuss about the users, there are so many users. Among those, I'm going to explain you a few general users like storage and accessibility. We can easily store n number of files in a small chip and we can easily send it from one place to another place. That is, we can store a number of files uh, in our in our folder easily. So it is not that much easy to save the hard copies safely and securely because there may be uh, a fear of uh, um, theft and there may be fear of damage. But if it is of a soft copy, we can easily store it, and, and we can easily number of uh, uh, store it number of files in a single uh, in a small chip. Next one is accessibility. Accessibility is nothing but uh, sending the file from one place to another place. By sitting in our, in our home, we can easily work on the project which is uh, going to be constructed in the abroad. So this is about the first advantage. Next one is about speed. So obviously, it is well known that by using the software, it takes very less time to do a project when compared to the manually and as well as the accuracy. We will get uh, accurate results in the softwares here we can eradicate the human errors the manual errors and we can obtain the results exactly to the input which we have given next thing is about revisions and modifications it is obviously a fact that a project is not approved in a single submission it will come for the number of revisions until its end uh, completion of the soft, uh, project here, by using the software, we can easily revise and we can easily modify n number of times for a single zone section. This is about revisions and modifications. The level of effort will be less when compared to manual things in the software. So the next advantage is about 3D view. So 3D view gives us a better idea to understand the structure and to inspect our structure. We can have a 3D rotation and we can inspect each and every corner of our structure. Uh, in um, and also we can see the columns and beams which are situated in our building. We can see the orientation of the beams and columns by the help of this 3D view. These are few advantages of using the software in our stream. Now let us go into this software. Nothing but ETAPS. 
So ETAPS is nothing but extended three-dimensional analysis of building systems. Currently, in these tutorials, I'm going to use ETAPS of version 18, which is of latest one. So these versions are nothing but year by year. We'll be having so a release. We'll be releasing the latest version year by year. We already have version of 17 and version of 15, 16 as per the year. So these versions are nothing but uh, for the same older version, they are going to just add some features and they are releasing it as a new latest version. If you learn once of one version, it's enough. You can able to uh, work on the remaining versions also. The interface is same and the workflow is same. Everything is same. Only a few features will be added. Here, I would like to give you an example of a software update or application update. We'll be using WhatsApp and uh, other applications in our mobile phones, which we'll be regularly updating it. So if we update, our WhatsApp is not going to change the gallery, right? So in the WhatsApp itself, few some, uh, few some features will be added. Here, it's the same vibes. If you go for the latest version, you will find few some features, okay, extra features. So everything is same as per the same versions. The interface will be same in all the versions. This is about uh, the versions of the software. Now let us uh, study about the introduction. As I told you earlier, ETAPS, the abbreviation of ETAPS is Extended Three Dimensional Analysis of Building Systems. This software is especially developed for building system and it will work on the basis of finite element methods. Here in this software, the analysis will be according to the finite element methods and the design is according to the limit state of design. These are the two basic things which we have to know about this particular software and as well it has so many features like it, ha it is having a CAD tools here CAD tools is nothing but in the CAD we'll be having so many edit tools like uh, uh, rotate edit uh, trim extend mirror move copy all these tools we can find in ETAPS as well this will help us to model our structure to generate a uh, unique geometry of our structure in ETAPS Next thing is, it is also having a uh, feature of uh, defining the materials and assigning the various loads. We can define various materials like uh, brick, masonry, and uh, uh, concrete, rebars, etc. of various grades. We can define those materials as well as uh, we can assign the various load, different loads like uh, um, gravity loads and lateral loads, etc. And also, it has an inbuilt uh, codes. It has an inbuilt codes of various countries. Now let us see this history of this ETAPS. So here I'm giving a brief history. This product uh, is uh, belongs to the CSI company. Uh, CSI is an American based company. Uh, the abbreviation of CSI is Computers and Structures Incorporated. It was found in the year 1975. From the day of found, it has been giving its services in the engineering stream. And it, the products of this company has been used by 160 countries over the world. There are some products, popular products like uh, SAP 2000, CSI Bridge, Safe, Performa 3D, CSI Detailer. These are some other products of this company, CSI company, same as ETAPS. Next thing is, uh, let me give an example of ETAPS. Burj Khalifa, in the Burj Khalifa, they have used this ETAPS software for the analysis purpose. Now let us see a few features of ETAP software. We have already discussed a few features like uh, the CAD tools and the inbuilt codes. It has uh, inbuilt codes of various countries like uh, Indian standards. In our Indian standards, we'll be having various codes like IS456, IS800, IS1893, uh, etc. Et These are the various codes. Likewise, uh, it has the codes belongs to some other countries, European countries, uh, Russian countries, etc., etc. And as well, it has a powerful uh, feature of importing and exporting, which makes our work very easier. Here, by using this importing feature, we can easily import a file of uh, some other format into ETAS, and we can work on that file and we can easily export that file into some other format. Let me give an example of. Uh, but suppose if you are having an AutoCAD plan, if you would like to analyze the structure for the plan which you are having. 
okay autocad plan plan is just only a 2d part but in the structure will be having a 3d part so we can easily here import that autocad plan nothing but the dot dwg format plan into e tags and we can generate a 3d structure here with a couple of beams columns and slabs and then we can perform the analysis for that imported plan nothing but uh, you know generated 3d structure by using that imported plan after getting after you know, analysis we can export that results into the formats like uh, excel word and text formats this is about the excellent features of e tags and also it is having an multi store replication option so at a time we can uh, replicate the stories uh, into number of copies like an apartment we can replicate a single story a same story into the number of stories at a time we can and we can perform the analysis for and that all the number of stories in a very short span of time and also it takes very less time for the analysis purpose when compared to stack pro it, it has been uh, proven that the time taken in etap for the analysis is very less when compared to stack pro these are few features of uh, etap software and here ends the video in the next video um, i would like to explain you about the uh downloading process of the software how to download a software and how to install the software i'll explain you the in the upcoming video so if you like this video hit like button and uh, subscribe my channel to get the update on my uh, next video upload upload thanks for watching my video we'll meet back in the next video with the fresh talks thank you